Hey, what's up coaches? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna share a treat with you. This is a clip from one of our recent coaching calls where I talk about some advanced marketing strategies that you can use in your training business. This is for the coaches that are in our coaching program. And I took a quick clip of what we have here. And I think this is something that will be very helpful for you if you already have a business set up. Pay close attention to what I share in this video and uh, execute what we have because I, I think this will really help you. And if you are interested in learning more about uh, what we have, how we help you, go to the first link in the description and apply there. Cool. So what this means, it's very simple, all right? Let's say you have customers and then you have prospects. So normally when people send emails, they send emails to everyone. They send emails to people who are customers on their customer list and people who are prospects, people who come through your email list that sign up, that apply for a program that haven't actually paid yet. So it's pretty common. Most coaches, will, when they send an email, they'll send it to everybody. Now, with this backup offer that we talked about, what you can do is you can send emails just to prospects. So the only people who see it are these people. Because like, we're not going to want to send a backup offer to people who are already paying you for your main offer. Does that make sense? Because like, then it's like, well, we're already in the program. Why? why would we do this backup thing that you have, all right? But then there's going to be times where if you're running a camp or a clinic, you want everyone to come, you want to send everything to both people, all right? Let me know, does that make sense? Yes or no? All right, cool. So what you have to be able to do, and this, this all comes down to whatever mailing system you use as far as email marketing, all right? You have to do something, it's called tagging. And this, this all comes down to your email system that you use, but <clears throat> you can tag people as customers or as prospects. So then when you send an email, you can define who sees the email, right? And this is why like one thing that's, I would try to look at, if I was like looking at your email marketing, one of the things I'd be looking at is how often do prospects, people who are not in your program, how often are they getting emails? And then how often are these people getting emails? As far as this is like upsells, this is like to get people into the into becoming a paid customer, right? So this is where, and I don't want to try to confuse you, but this is where you can have two different emails that go out. So again, we don't want to like tell customers about something that they don't need to see. We need to tell them about other things that they can do that only apply to customers, all right? And then with prospects, we wanna be able to tell them really anything to get them into the door to become a paid member. And then we move them over onto the customer list, all right? So tell me in the chat real quick, um, what mailing service do you use for emails? So, so I can try to point you in the right direction. That is correct, Mario. Two different emails. Yes. That doesn't mean you need to have two different emails that go out every single day, but that means like prospects will see something, customers will see something else. And then there's times where everyone will see everything. Cool. MailChimp, MailChimp, MailChimp. So what I would do, if you don't know how to segment, I would just go to YouTube and type in how to segment emails on MailChimp because I don't use MailChimp. I've used it before. I used it in like 2011 and I'm sure it's way different now than, than it was back then. So I would go to YouTube, learn how to do it. And then like, think about, all right, if someone is not in our program yet, or they've never bought anything yet, what do I want them to see? How can, how can I get them involved in our program? Now, and then with current customers, what can I send them that will upgrade their experience with us where they're now investing more money? And then like, what are messages that I want everyone to see across the board? 
And then like, those are the emails that get sent to everyone. All right. So let me know if that makes sense. Um, if that does make sense, please type in the number one. So I know we are good to go with that. 